seven who decided to travel the world one month at a time. Chris, Leslie, Lucy, Grant, Lincoln, Harrison, and Grace. Now we're the seven wayfinders. All right, we are back. We're back. With our California recap. California recap. Yeah, so LA, or we should say Anaheim, was our, let's see, one, two, three, four, fifth destination. If you're talking about locations, well, it maybe say sixth if you had Glenwood in there, but about fifth or sixth destination. And uh, it's definitely been, I think, besides Honduras, I think it's definitely been the best of uh, so much fun. You know, second yeah. best location. It's I been think really it fun so the far. The kids' favorite by far. Yeah. Um, but it's hard to beat Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. Really, this is more of a Disneyland recap because that's where we focus almost all of our free time. <laughs> yeah. In 1955, a magical place was born. And in this marvelous kingdom, there lived many delightful friends who made our dreams come true. An enchanting place where storybook heroes and daring adventures waited around every corner. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi, Grace. Hi, Grandpa. Oh. Can you see the squirrel on my head? Okay, dance. Do dance right now. Okay. We love the weather of Southern California. Totally get why people want to live here. That's super nice. Super nice. Yeah. Um, we've enjoyed this pool, but it's not heated, so I we know. never get in. <laughs> the kids love it, though. Kids love it. Yeah, and because it's warm enough, so they'll jump out and just heat up on the, you know, the pavements, paving yeah. stones. Yeah. So that's good. We have been to the beach. Yep. That's been a blast. So beautiful. So pretty. I, I have to confess, after being in San Francisco, and we love beaches, but... I'd forgotten how nice the beaches are uh, yeah. near LA. And it's like, as far as talking to people about LA, no one ever really brings up the beach. Uh, I kind of wish I'd spent more time there than previously, but. We're gonna go again, so. It's good. Hi. It's okay. Hi. We're gonna go perfect! <laughs> um, we fell in love with Sidecar Donuts. They have a gluten free donut and they're pretty premium donuts anyway, so right up our alley. We just went this afternoon for, what was that, our fifth time? Oh, uh, yes. Maybe six? My waistline <laughs> doesn't need a fifth time. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll lose some weight in a way. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff I wish we would have seen that we didn't. I wanted to go down to San Diego. There's so much there to see. I wanted to go to Knott's Berry Farm. We didn't go to any museums, which I love kids' museums, but Disney's hard to beat. What are your favorite rides? All right, so as far as rides go, I'd say my top three are Guardians of the Galaxy, um, and then the Incredicoaster, the new uh, Incredibles-themed roller coaster in California Adventure. And 
and then um, Splash Mountain. Uh, we had a blast on those three uh, with the kids. I love Toy Story Mania. It's a classic. I love it because I can take all the kids and Chris smokes all of us on the score, but at least I'm second. <laughs> and um, love Splash Mountain. I love the shows of Disneyland. Very good. It just really is, I love like the imagination and the fantasy that comes to life at Disneyland. <laughs> I'm not usually like a huge fantasy person, but it's kind of like all your childhood fantasies come to life at Disneyland. And I think it's just because you're so excited to show something to your kids, and also it's your own childhood memories coming to life. That's good. So, anyway, um, we highly recommend the Fantasmic show. We've seen it without Fast Pass, we've seen it with a Fast Pass, and we've seen it with a dining package Fast Pass. I would highly recommend the dining package if you want to spend that kind of money. For us, it was worth the money to, to, cause you do get dinner. It was worth the money to not have to fight such a crowd and still have a fantastic seat. If you get the nine o'clock showing, you also get to watch the fireworks right after Fantasmic with all the music. And that was totally worth the cost for me. This won't hurt at all, mate. You're dead. I'd have to say that the real drive for us, especially for this time of year, was Mickey's Halloween party. Oh, yes. Which was like so stellar. Yes. We'll talk about it kind of in its own light later. We've got some good pictures from there, but uh, it was way fun. Hi. I like that you raised the other car. We did stop off at um, Universal Studios, mm -hmm. which really yes. should just be called Harry Potter Studios. Harry Potter Studios. Like <laughs> honestly, we saw the whole thing, and I love the Kung Fu Panda, um, you know, space that they did there and what they did with that. That was fantastic. But I would have been much more pleased if nearly the entire park was just more Harry Potter. The way they did Harry Potter was so much fun and uh, it put everything else to shame. It was really cool. Otherwise, we realized that this is the last time we'll be um, within the continental United States for potentially more several, than a year. Several years, yeah. Several years, couple yeah. years, we're not really sure. 16 years. <laughs> Not that long. No. <laughs> um, so there's definitely like some, I have like some excitement and some anxiety around that. We are selling our car. We're taking it. Our second car. Our we second sold car. our first car already. We're now selling the mom mobile. The mom mobile. That, yeah. yeah, the, the big SUV. We, we named her Maleficent. Maleficent. Big black SUV. <laughs> so, for those of you who want to join us overseas, <laughs> just send us a message. Uh, let us know. Yeah, we like having friends. <laughs> okay, see ya. Ciao.